We're cutting stuff. We're cutting it. I tell you what, down there, it's a little bit, a little bit rusty. I'm gonna cost about 350 to fix that right there. Damn, it smells like my grandma. Which part? <laughs> I mean, the oh soft God. top. Is that what? You <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna stall it, it's automatic. You can't find reverse. You should be good. good. You should be good. Uh, go ahead and lift it. Lift it. Uh, here we go. All right, it's time to inspect it and see what we got and make a wish list of what we want to do. I think... Are we going to be able to uh, Right? Oh no, we're talking to me out of here. Do you know this is blue? This is blue. It, it's... I didn't think it was this metallic in it. It says when I bought it, it's a purple color, but it doesn't look purple at all. It's definitely metallic blue. Yeah. yeah. This will clean up really nice. Yeah, so one thing we gotta discuss uh, is if we wanna repaint it, if we wanna wrap it, if we wanna repaint it. Cause look at this over here. Yeah, so happens. this is some damage from, the, the battery's actually in there and it's not strapped in. So you can see it just I say blue. hitting this, this quarter panel back here and it's cracking the paint. Oh, the old Panasonic. You think that's an original battery? Negative. <laughs> That's what I was worried about, but they're just double side, right? Is it rusty? It's like the crackly paint on the bottom, That's cool. Yeah. Chip guard. Yeah. It's all the whole bottom of the door. Oh, that ain't right. That ain't right? It's no, usually it's not like, like, like down the... here. No, in Miata's it's... Is it the whole bottom? Uh, yeah. He's a Miata expert. You, know, I... you gotta listen to him. <laughs> I, I actually like the paint job. It doesn't offend me. Like, normal... Do you I, like the color? Like, I didn't think I'd green. like it. If you could pick any color that you wanted, though, what would you? Probably green. Paint. Bright green. Bright green? I like green. Okay, we're not asking Greg any more questions. <laughs> I think it's brown. <laughs> bright Remember green? I wrap my green? Yeah. Green. Maybe Chicago Auto Pro's blue. <laughs> Chicago Auto Pro's colors? Chicago Auto Pro's just the blue. Oh yeah. We got some scrapes on the front bumper here. You want to paint it or wrap it? I know. I feel like if you wrap it, I mean, you're. I, I, if we're gonna wrap it, I'd still want to paint it. You know, like have it nice paint underneath. Because I feel like you're cheating when you're wrapping it, almost. Like, because we're gonna have to do some body work, obviously. Yeah. Like we'd have to sand that all out, and if you take the wrap off, then you what do you suck? You got hey, you have to wrap it again. Then. This thing's pretty clean. Can't lie. Looks clean. Looks good. Ready to be worked on. We got Jimmy under there to Chanda doing some work. I don't know what he's doing down there, but just checking it out. Hopefully, some good news from him, and then we'll be rolling, just like Jimmy on the floor. <laughs> It needs a, a CV or a, uh, a, what do you call that thing? That dang old, the, uh, what do you call it? The goddamn uh, U joint. We got a hammer. We might need a lot of 19 sockets. I don't know if that's going to come out of it. Here, you work on getting that off. <laughs> He was trying to get a wheel off. He was trying to get a wheel off. Hitting the rubber on the floor. I don't know. 
<laughs> it just looks dirty to me. It, I don't see any rust, so that's good. It's like. No, it looks about clean. It looks. Looks really clean. Definitely do some brakes on this. Yeah, we're definitely gonna redo the brakes because you can hear them when we're moving it. Let's inspect the body a little bit. So we saw we have just a little bit of uh, road rash on the front bumper. That's that's not buffable. I want to make it look as good as possible. I noticed that we have a dent over here. A pretty good dent. We have a pretty good dent guy. But that's in a weird place. These rubber pieces, these are of course gonna come off. It's nice that it has the, the hard top on it because those are pretty expensive. But you can see up here, like the seal's coming out. So I'm hoping that we can replace that seal pretty easily. Because whether we repaint it or wrap it. I don't know how easy that seal is to replace, but we can do it. Should we take this off and inspect the soft I top? The I, soft think, top I think we right. definitely should. Let's do it, let's take it off. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. it was under your hand. Oh, yeah. It's all ripped. What's the back window look like? That's the giant mystery. Ooh. Ooh no. That's original JDM yellow. Oh, that <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take a little bit of a stretch to <laughs> get it together. I don't think you should force it. It shouldn't be that hard. That's what she said. <laughs> it's not even close. Seriously, this isn't going to last. Hey, you still got a big gap up here. All right, let's call it, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's a shitty looking top anyway. Like, yeah. Top, yeah. I think the first thing we should do is just Take that thing off and throw it in the garbage. Top? Yeah. yeah. Damn, it smells like my grandma. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> I mean, the oh soft God. top? Is that what you. Mean? <laughs> <laughs> How does the rest of the interior look? I just can't get over the smell. It doesn't smell that bad, it just smells like an old car. It smells wet to me. So we take these seats <laughs> so out. Okay, really. <laughs> I wonder how much it is to replace all the carpets and stuff, because that's where uh, all the smell is, right? It's probably where the, I've been sniffing around. It's, uh... We could probably take them out and clean them rather than replace them. They look like good shape. Oh, look you at it. Oh, like, there's some mold. I think we clean all this stuff. We got then... mold. Yeah, clean all that stuff up. I think it'll smell. That's why it smells like my grandma. Yo! It looks like it. No, this looks like. Ooh, a quarter? Is it, is it from Japan? Can you taste no what year it's from? It? it just says Rakuen. I think that's like a Chuck E. Cheese in Japan. <laughs> You're keeping that, huh? Oh, that's cool. Here, no, it, it'll be our. That's staying with the car. We'll, we'll hang it on our. Yeah, we gotta hang the, it from oh, that's the cool. Look, we've already made a return on our investment. <laughs> this could, quarter of the this could be worth thousands of dollars. <laughs> I wonder what that is though. Probably nothing. It's probably literally. <laughs> That's cool shit. though. <laughs> it's staying with the car. That's the lucky charm. That is never leaving Wait. the car. Oh, I thought it was gonna be one of those that open up both ways. Somebody's gonna detail this thing and it's just gonna <laughs> into the vacuum. <laughs> it's, it's, it's gone. Should we look uh, at the engine? So what you looking at? <laughs> I don't know. We're looking at a, a 1.8 liter engine. Did you hear anything? Do, do you want to start it up and listen to it? I mean, as far as mechanics go? I heard what Colin said was normal Lifter tick, which on a, how, how many kilometers is on this? 124,000. Kilometers, so. 77,000 miles. That's pretty cool. Um, do we have a light so we can like. Yeah, let me get you a light. Look at stuff. 
Looking at the belts. Uh, this is <laughs> probably power steering. That's power steering. There's a little, a little wetness behind it. Just a little bit. Uh, it's definitely wet on the lower half. I would say it's not a very active leak, but also once you start driving this car and like putting some miles on it and like hitting it, it'll probably start leaking. Like my Celsius took took a couple months uh, of me driving it to start like pushing oil out where the where everything was old. Yeah. All right, guys, let's sit. Let's come up with our wish list and stuff so we can get out of here tonight. All right, so total purchase price of the car, we're in $9,694. That's the purchase price of the car. That's it? That's it. Yeah, it comes with the hard top and everything, so we don't have to buy the hard top. But now, this is the fun part. We're gonna decide what we do, what we wanna do with it. What did you see, like, mechanically on it? Obviously, we wanna go through everything as much as possible. Yeah, I just was touching and poking things. It wasn't really testing anything. It's got a couple leaks, but you kind of figure a 30-year-old car is gonna have some leaks, and really, until we start driving and stuff starts pouring out of it, I would be fine with how it is for a driver. Okay. Until we start getting into systems, I'm not, there's nothing pressing. Well, let's come up with like a wish list of what we wanna do. For I mean, I guess we should talk budget first, because <laughs> that could get out of hand, right? Budget. Yeah, what's a budget? So I think, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'm thinking around 15,000 to put into it. Into it? Into it. Well, I think, yeah, let's put the list in priority order and then yeah. just draw a line somewhere. Yeah. So, I mean, the number one thing, it's an automatic. <laughs> that, thank you, that's my number one. We gotta change the transmission's that. broken. That's priority number one. That'll take care of half the leaks, too. What's that? They'll the, take care of like half the leaks. You said it wasn't a limited slip rear differential? I don't think so. Hmm. I saw it, I saw one wheel going earlier, one tire fire when somebody was driving. I think he ran. But maybe it's the floor too. Yeah. It does not take much to spin. Yeah. So we got a lead on a donor car already with a manual transmission. Excellent. How hard do you how what skill level is that to change out that? I would say it's is it easy? Yeah. Really? Okay. That's an equipment almost, that you almost, need that we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Colin. Colin's doing the manual transmission swap himself. <laughs> easy. <laughs> All right, Colin's got the transmission. It's easy. I'll do the oil change and we're good. <laughs> okay, it's but it's gonna be a project. It, it is gonna be a project, but that's what this is all about. Uh, the yeah. seats? What do you, the, like I wouldn't, I like those seats. I like the look of those seats. The you smell. can get them to reupholster it if you want to keep If only going. we knew someone could upholster seats. Hmm. That was like a big job to upholster those. No, seats. you don't like, upholster them. I don't think they need to be upholstered. All right, just get the seats. The top. I like the top. Either just throw the top away. Let's clean it and see it. if it smells That's like a that. great <laughs> idea. What if we did like a racing, like a checkered racing flag top? If we reupholster the top and do it with like, like a like a road like a roadster that says race to me and we can do like a, idea. Like a race flag top. Find where top. you can get that material and a checkered flag and then we'll do that. For like an out, outdoor <laughs> like, I'm sure they make it like marine grade. Wait, are we doing hard top? Or we're doing soft top. No, this, the hard top is gonna go with yeah. it. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't think it'd be crazy just to take the soft top out of it. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we got two choices. We replace it and do a new one or just take it out and delete it. It's got to be at least a thousand dollars and it's not an yeah. insignificant thing. Let's to... delete the delete soft top. <laughs> Wait, then we can put more money into other stuff. <laughs> absolutely absolutely like get rid of the soft weight. top. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so manual swap is a must. Um, let's, let's start with, uh, if, since we're going into the engine, power. It needs more power. Like, it definitely needs a turbo, right? Wait, well, hold on, hold on. I think you start turboing it and then you find out what else is, can't keep up. Like, now you got a cooling problem, now you got an oil problem. I think you'd be... You want to keep it this slow? <laughs> Dennis was saying something about putting a case swap in it. If he wants to do that, <laughs> lost your cigarette. <laughs> a case swap? Before I'd do anything on the engine, I'd rather see it lowered well, we, okay, so we're gonna do uh, coilovers. Coilovers. Easy. Oh, I didn't tell you. There's a lot of love in the room for the wheels, actually. Mm -hmm. I got a fender roller. 
So I didn't tell you I've already ordered a body kit for it. Oh, good job. <laughs> good uh, job. The Rocket yes. Bunny kit takes like three months. Rocket so Bunny, sweet. I've ordered it. Uh, it'll be three months. Well, that needs some what? Hopefully, well, hopefully if we're going Rocket Bunny. Wide body. Need, gotta be wide body. <laughs> oh, so then we gotta put some big wheels on. Yeah, if we're getting Rocket Bunny, we gotta get yeah, new wheels. We'll have to get new wheels. One thing that should not be neglected that's gonna be overlooked until it's too late is if you're doing a body kit and we have big wheels, we're gonna have Clearance. We need to make clearance on stuff. So if we stuff's if gonna you do, have to get cut. Yeah, you do have to cut it for this body kit. Plus, so that means we should probably repaint it. Suspension arms. If we're cutting it. We could vinyl wrap it too. We could vinyl wrap it. The nose tech stuff is really cool, and they come out with new colors every couple weeks. So maybe we ask the the viewers if we repaint it or vinyl wrap it. That's a great it. idea. We'll let the viewers. Decide. Everyone's gonna say paint though, because paint's doing it right. Vinyls. I I rather paint it. Vinyl's like would. taking the cheap way, you know? Yeah. So the goal of this car is we're giving the car away. I want to create a really nice show car. I imagine somebody, uh, a, a Miata enthusiast, being able to take this on the weekend to different shows and go into these shows, maybe across the country or whatever. But they can still, if they wanted to take it on like a track day, they could do it. All right, what about stuff, what uh, other stuff on the exterior, like mirrors and stuff? We want to do, I, I see a lot of guys do aftermarket mirrors. I know you have aftermarket mirrors that are kind of cool. You want to do some of that stuff or? Can we? I don't want to get crazy. <laughs> no, I, I, I have no problem with any a of that. Like, I mean, we can do a different hood with, you know, can. You don't want to get crazy, but you got a rock and bunny kit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell it yeah. just looks good with the rocket bunny. Hell yeah. I mean, it like, looks like crazy. it's supposed to look like that. Where do we start? We gotta know. decide. We kind of gotta decide what we're doing before we start. That's, That's where we start. Okay. I think so you start by the take place. the seats out, take the top out, clean the inside. Pull the carpets out. Yeah. Pull we'll the carpets check, out. Check. Make see sure. What's Floors, yeah, I think something to be careful freedom. that we were talking about earlier is if everyone just dives in on it and does what they want to do, the whole car will be in pieces and it'll never get put together. There's got to be a good plan. <laughs> yeah. If we can have one of our media guys take a photo of this and try and Photoshop. And do a rendering of what it looks just, like. Yeah, let's try yeah, and we make will. a rendering. Yeah. Like, we'll make a rendering. Something as like a, like a halo car for us and try and build towards it. Yeah. And you know, whatever direction we take. Or have people vote. What if we had people vote on what we did? That'd be really engaging. We'll have to do all that through Instagram though, because Instagram, we can do the updates automatically as we're going, where YouTube is always going to be two or three weeks behind. So we can't do a video and ask, okay, which one do you guys want? Because it's going to take three weeks to edit it and then... So when we do we YouTube, do. you can tell them like, hey, make sure you check on Instagram yeah. to help you know, help yeah. us make decisions. Watch yeah. Instagram for the daily updates. That's good. You know. And the people on Instagram said they wanted these wheels. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to do that. We'll, we'll get that going. That's cool. I like that a lot. If you guys want updates, real live updates when we're working on the car, go to Instagram. Right there. Don't sign it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we got a pretty good list going. I think now what we have to do is kind of just go out and price all this stuff out and according to our budget figure out, you know, the first thing, let's figure out whether we're gonna do um, a new engine in it, what that costs versus getting the donor and putting in the manual transmission. We know we wanna make it manual, see what it would do, it, you know, like. A like motor said, and a manual swap or just a manual swap from right. the donor. Right. So let's price that out and then we'll figure out um, what we need to do first and we'll come up with a list of, uh, of, of order step-by-step step of what we're doing and then what we can do to it. And I think the budget's gonna entail, you know, like if we're doing the motor, if we're doing the engine swap or in the manual swap. And what did the body kit cost? Body kit cost was $2,600. It's not bad, I thought it would be more. We gotta get it painted too, so. There's a lot of decisions. There's paint or vinyl, <laughs> bags or coils, engine or. Yeah. All right, but the first thing is, what are we doing at the engine? So let's figure that out, and then we'll get step by step, and we'll get rolling on this thing. Nice. Deal. Deal. Got any more wings? Do we gotta figure out a cheer or something? <laughs> we gotta we gotta name it. Never Grandma Yunos. <laughs> YouTube find a name? Yeah. I haven't never named a car either. Choose like ten names. The names are. I've never names named it either. It's like one. given. YouTube uh, named my Tesla uh, the, the Black Pearl. Four. <laughs> All of my cars have names. <laughs> All right, cool. He's gonna do the Jimmy Butler thing. 
<laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the alternator and <laughs> shit. <laughs> that shit down there gonna run about 350, okay, Greg? Wakuen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like a Chuck E. Cheese in Japan. Look, we've already made a return on our investment. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs>